Hey there, it's Steve. And Courtney. And what are we doing today? We are reviewing some Chalk Zero chocolate pumpkins. Yes, these are a seasonal item for Halloween. I don't know how much longer they'll be around after Halloween, so we kind of had to get on this review right away. Now, what, uh, what do we have here in total? We have dark chocolate chocolate pumpkins. We have white chocolate pumpkins. And we have milk chocolate pumpkins. Then back here, we've got a little box, which includes dark chocolate peanut butter truffles. That sounds pretty good. So across the board, every one of these is one net gram of carbs per serving. On each one of the pumpkins, it's three total grams of carbohydrates, one net gram. And on the peanut butter chocolate truffles, we're looking at seven total grams of carbs, one net gram. And the serving size for all of them is just one piece. Yeah, so, so we'll see how big those pieces are. Yeah, it's not something where you're going to want to totally go to town on because you could, even though they're just a single net carb a piece, sort of rack up the carbs. Also, if you are a diabetic and you're counting total carbs, that may kind of throw these off the table for you right away. Quick disclaimer before we start in terms of ingredients. Chalk Zero uses soluble corn fiber, non-GMO, in pretty much all of their products. I will include a link down below explaining the difference between soluble corn fiber and isomalto oligosaccharides. And it's from ketogenic.com, so it's, I think, probably not a biased article. Additionally, each one of these has natural flavors, so if you're opposed to natural flavors, then also probably not for you. So where should we start? Let's start with the white chocolate and then work our way to the dark side. And I also think that I'm going to enjoy these the most, so, so I'd like to keep these towards the yeah, end. Yeah, I agree. And apologize for the city leaf pickup. All right, hopefully we don't hear a whole lot more of the leaf pickup. All right, these are relatively small, individually packed. Kind of cute, little pumpkin. Very small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, very, very small. small. What do you think? It's not sweet like white chocolate normally is. No, it's like. Not. Go ahead. White chocolate is usually very sweet, like a little too sweet. This is not. And the texture, I'm kind of getting it stuck in my mouth a little bit. Okay. So I think, I agree with you on not as sweet. Mm -hmm. Not as buttery either. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually you get that really sort of creamy, buttery yeah. sweetness. So if normal white chocolate, if you find that's too much, maybe you'll like this. Yeah. But I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a huge, huge, I'm not sold on these. Yeah. So maybe it's good we started with that one. Maybe, yeah. All right. <laughs> Hopefully they just get better. <laughs> Next we have milk chocolate. Now since the wrappers are identical, you probably don't want to dump all these into a bowl together unless, yeah. you know, you're going for that mystery candy <laughs> theme. Ooh, mine's an angry one. I can't get mine open. Mine's... Happy! Yeah, so, so different faces. Yeah, that's them. kind of fun. This is an improvement. Mm. I like the longer I chew it, the better it tastes. Like at first I wasn't getting much of anything, but then just gradually the flavor started picking up. It reminds me of the chocolate that they have in advent calendars for okay. Christmas. Where it's not like, it's it's not super strong. Or super sweet. Either, yeah, which, but it's still good. Yeah, I, I like that it's less sweet. You know, like a, a Hershey's candy bar, that's just way too much for me like anymore. That. But that was an improvement. Yeah. That's, I like that better than the white. It really reminded me of the advent calendar chocolate. Dark chocolate's probably your favorite, right? Generally, yeah. Yeah. So I usually go with a lint chocolate bar when I'm having chocolate. 
you know, something 85% or more. I really like that dark chocolate. I like a Hershey chocolate bar, so. Oh, this is a like the meanest looking one I've seen yet. But Yours I'm looks scared. sad. Sad or scared? Okay. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's not super dark. Um, I, I do feel like I kind of get like a stevia sweetened taste from yeah, it. Yeah, there's, there's no stevia in this. That's kind of what it tastes like to me though. Uh, monk. Monk, monk fruit. fruit. Maybe that's actually what I'm tasting. I have a hard time keeping track of all the sweeteners, but. So to me, it reminds me of sort of an unsweetened hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. You know, made from actual cocoa, not like, you know, one of these packet mixes. But like if you made homemade hot chocolate and you didn't put a whole lot of sweetener in it. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. I can see that. It doesn't have the bitterness Mm-mm. that like a lint bar does. So if you're put off by bitterness, then you might like these. If you kind of like that bitter dark chocolate, then you might find these not potent enough for your taste. Yeah, probably. If they're not that dark. All right. How small do you think these are? Well, look, these are a decent size. There are only five in the box. So do they have other types of truffles? Uh, I think they may have some different types of truffles, but not for Halloween. Halloween. I think this is it for Halloween. These are definitely bigger. I mean... Yeah, they're, they're easily twice as fat and probably 50% wider in diameter. Yeah. I like these, but I pretty much, anytime you put chocolate and peanut butter together, it's kind of hard to go wrong. So I figured that these were going to be good. I think it's sort of like a Reese's peanut butter cup for grown-ups because again, like the others, it's not super sweet. You know, it led with a lot of chocolate. And then the moment I tasted the peanut butter, it had, it was more of that sort of roasted peanut taste rather than like a, you know, like a, an actual jiffy peanut butter sort of taste. Yeah, I really like these. It's like a peanut butter cup, but it's not quite as sweet. I also like that it's like two bites because I feel like I'm eating a lot more than I am. So it actually, I don't know, like I could just have one of these. Yeah, I, I will be satis- satisfied. satisfied having one of mm-hmm. these, but you know, uh, that's, I think, another good reason. But that's, I think, another good thing about these not being super sweet is it doesn't then sort of fuel your desire to just rip through a, an yeah. entire bag all They've at once. they just got a little sweetness from the peanut butter, I think. Um, I would definitely call these a win. So we just got out onto the Chalk Zero site to see what the prices are on all these. And we see that for the ghosts, they also have... Milk chocolate and white chocolate peanut butter flavored ones. So we had the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Man, I kind of wish we would have gotten the milk chocolate. Yeah, I do too a little. But the price on these before using the Serious Keto discount code is $8 for a box of the truffles. And the bags are $6 each. I think that these are worth it. Yeah, some keto products are pretty nuts. And, you know, like Mm -hmm. you compare like... Girl Scout and Boy Scout treats around the seasons, those are pretty expensive too. Yeah. So not, you know, not out of line for a keto product. I think for me, gosh, I definitely, I love, I love the truffles. That's, that to me is a no brainer. I'm a, I'm a little bit iffy on the other ones. Those are, those are awfully small sized. I think if you like dark chocolate without the bitterness of the dark chocolate, you'd probably like the dark chocolate. Mm. I think if you like milk chocolate, but don't like the sweetness of, you know, like a Hershey's or something like that, you'd probably like the milk chocolate. The white chocolate, to me, that just, it seemed, it, there was something like sort of missing about it. So it, it would, I don't know that I could give a thumbs up to that. Now, because Courtney just got home from work and we're going to be having dinner soon, I can't really do an effective blood glucose test on this today. So I am going to film that tomorrow and insert that right here. Now, I don't know that most people are going to be eating 
four servings of this candy in one sitting, but that's what I'm gonna do. So if we don't see any reaction out of four pieces of candy, we ought to be good with eating just one. So I've got the white chocolate, the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, and the dark chocolate peanut butter truffles. Here we go. You know, actually, I think this white chocolate is kind of growing on me. I like it more than I did yesterday. Yeah, I don't know uh, if it's because I'm in a fasted state right now and this is the first thing I'm eating today that uh, somehow this tastes better, but I really like the milk chocolate too. That dark chocolate, I just wish it had a little bit more bitterness to it. I really kind of like the bitterness from dark chocolate. Still good. Now the truffle. And at 30 minutes, One twelve, and the one hour test. Back down to one o four. So I screwed up and didn't have the mic turned on for that last segment. I'll still show you the picture though. Right over here, you can see the timestamp on it. This is my two hour test down to a 90. So at least for me, not a significant blood glucose impact on the Choc Zero chocolates. So that is it for the Choc Zero, what do they call it? Fall Keto Collection. We had one solid winner. We had a couple of personal preference sort of items. And then we had the white chocolate, which didn't love. Agreed. So I guess that's it, right? Right, see you next time. Thanks for watching.